Welcome back, YouTubers. I just came from the UPS drop-off point, and I got these. I got this package, and I knew when I opened the package what it was going to be in advance. And it's these Kinepec pliers. And what I did is I pulled them out of the box, and I looked at them real quick. I don't know if you can see that or not. I looked at them real quick, and I said, you got to be kidding me. These things are rusting. Well, look, I haven't opened up the package yet. And once I get inside, I'll get up a little bit closer and show you what I'm talking about. So here I am. I'm walking into the garage with these pliers. And I got to show you something that I noticed. All right. Hang on. I'll get right back with you. So while we're on our way back into my little tiny garage, I wanted to welcome you to New Liver, New Life here on YouTube. And I feature all kinds of stuff that I do post liver transplant. That's right. 20 months ago, I was in a wheelchair being pushed around by my wife. And guess what? Here I am now. So, okay, let's let's open this box up and uh, take a look at what I immediately perceived to be rust. All right, so here I am. Move some of this crap out of the way. Oh, by the way, this is a uh, Maxpedition Everyday Carry case that I built recently. Um, if you'd like me to do a video about that, hang on. If you'd like me to do a video about that, here's some of my contents. And uh, we can do a video about that later. Let me know in the comments. But anyway, here's the Knipix. All right. I'm not sure what's wrong with my camera. It's not focusing in, but... Now, I'm going to have to figure out a tripod or something to open this thing up. So hang in there. Hang on. All right. So while I'm getting that tripod, I'm going to walk out of here. Hey, if you're interested in Honda, four-wheelers, just side-by-sides, um, just side-by-sides in general, let me know. I got some videos like that. If you look at my page, New Liver, New Life, I can see, you can see this vehicle flipped over and uh, us towing it out. I'm also into like everything motorcycle. And, and if you like uh, Yamaha MT-09s, give me a shout. I got footage about that also. Now listen, I ain't some wild and crazy guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm a 57 year old dude that had a liver transplant 20 months ago. So don't expect me to be doing hula hoops and backflips and that kind of crap. So just hang in there. I've also become somewhat of a tool addict. Um, this is my beginner's um, tool collection. Um, I'm trying to be versatile as far as uh, manufacturers is concerned. Um, the only thing that uh, I don't buy is Chinese and uh, Taiwanese made tools. Now I have some, don't get me wrong, and we'll get to that later, but I'm just not into it. Say you're into ratchets. I got ratchets. Let me know. You want to see more ratchets? What should I get next to show you guys? Let me know. If you need to look at uh, nut drivers, vessel screwdrivers, good old fashioned USA screwdrivers, Weeha vessel, uh, Mega Pro bit drivers, uh, old snap on. Uh, Weeha, uh, whatever you want to look at, just let me know. I'll do a video about it. Wrenches, this is another work in progress. These are the craftsmen that were made in Taiwan. Everything else is U.S. except these. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to replace this set with something different. I was looking at the Williams American made, oh, I'm sorry, Wright, Wright Grip 2.0s. I think I'm going to replace that with these pliers collection i'm expanding here with only the best like knipex this is an old set of gear wrench that i took out of the box to make more room i'll probably give those to my son you know he's he's interested in tools also uh again i like the uh, american made uh, uh german made uh japanese made tools uh especially koken let me show you those you can see these ratchets here. Uh, these are all Koken USA ratchets. This is a Japanese uh, Nepros. Um, and this, of course, you know, your Harbor Freight. But uh, yeah, these, uh, they're made in Japan. 
Uh, and you know what, if you, if you have Japanese vehicles, why wouldn't you use Japanese tools? Um, if I work on one of my American made vehicles, say my truck, for instance, I reach for a snap on, uh, these are OSA tools, USA made Williams, USA made down here. I have proto USA, right tools, another proto Mac tools. Mac tools, burn me once, shame on you, burn me twice, shame on me. Saw this ratchet, thought it was pretty cool. Um, it's a, uh, I don't know, what do you call it, ratchetless. And it's smooth and everything, but I started looking at it more. Made in Taiwan, made in Taiwan. I was sick, but I have it, there it is, it's a Mac, whatever. Of course, Wira again, right, Proto. A mixture of quality, American-made, German-made, Japanese-made tools. Nothing from China. All right, so here we are. I'm gonna open up the box. I like that they came in the foam. I think I'll keep them in the foam when it goes to storing them, just like I, I did with this set. I like the foam, but you gotta have the room. And you can tell by my tiny garage, I, I don't have the room. So anyway, I'm going to open this up and let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Some of you guys, I don't know, everybody's got their opinion. Let me know. Let me know. What do you think? So before I get, actually take them out of the package, really look at it closer. Uh, you're going to have to tune in for part two. So there you go. I, I really, truly hope that you guys like this video. Please subscribe. And then that way you'll get to be to uh, actually see part two. So thanks.